who it is. I've really missed you. Let me see. All right, you seem fine. <laughs> That's a start. Have the sand bandits been caught yet? Were you scared back then? I mean, I think I would have been. I hope so. You know, if you're scared, you can tell me. I won't tease you. Too much. <laughs> but seriously, if you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. What's taking them so long? Is this Logan guy really as nefarious and cunning as the papers say? <sighs> I hope he gets caught soon. Phew, but it's great that you're all right. You don't know how relieved I am to see your face. And oh, look, look, I brought you a whole bunch of stuff. But take me to the famous Blue Moon Saloon first. I'm dying to try all that sand food. I'm absolutely starving. We can catch up while eating. I have so much to tell you. Ah, there you are. Give me your hand. It's just a test. Do not be afraid. It moved. Yes, I felt it. This feeling deep inside me. Every time we touch. Perhaps I should explain. When we danced the other day, I felt something deep inside me. A type of shock? Sudden and strong. Hence, I built this thermal electronitron. It can measure a body's electronic impulse fluctuations. I've been checking for any irregularities over the last few days. My love of science has not increased lately, and I have not had any complications before. I would expect that I would have increased impulses in the research center were that the case. I need to do more tests. I will report back with conclusive results tomorrow. Hmm. You wish to come with me? Perhaps that would be helpful. It would provide sufficient natural conditions for study. First, we go to the clinic. We need to check for bodily abnormalities. Healthy. Impossible. But the electrical charges... Have you checked the thermal electronitron? This happened when I was with a friend. Oh, love birds. No, no. A human friend, actually. Bill? I'm getting arrhythmia. I need to go outside. Hmm. Seems we're finished at the clinic. I have another hypothesis. No, it's statistically unlikely. I believe there to be a 0.2% probability of you being the cause. An outlier. I need to do more calculations. I shouldn't jump to conclusions like this. I'll do some further analysis and get back to you tomorrow. So this is Yakmel milk. I thought it would be gross, but it's actually deliciously good. Huh. 
It's kind of crazy. The first time they travel outside of Highwind, and it's to Sandrock of all places. After you left, I often find myself wondering about you. How your work is going, how you're dealing with the sandstorms, if you're happy, and so on. In my mind, I kind of built you up as this hero, coming to save Sandrock. Silly, isn't it? Hey, don't laugh! I'm serious! I subscribe to the Tumbleweed Standard, and I keep seeing your name pop up. You fix the moisture farm, beat the googlies, or whatever they're called, and even rebuilt a bridge. It's amazing. Your ma couldn't believe it. She kept saying, really? Our child? Your pa even joked that there must be someone with the same name as you here. But they're really proud of you. They're just not used to us doing grown-up stuff, I guess. You've always been kind of foolhardy, though. Always running into things before thinking. So I guess it kind of makes sense for them to feel that way, right? <laughs> when you talk like that, it makes you sound so mature. You've really changed, you know. I mean, you're still you, but there's this air of reliability now. I guess I can't call you the idol master anymore. Maybe when I finish school, I should also go somewhere else and expand my horizon. But, I don't know, I tend to get lonely by myself. I'll probably be homesick by the second week. Us? <laughs> you're already becoming a sand rocker. Now you're all pistols and howdies, right? Look, I'm only staying in sand rock for three days. Then I have to go back and take an exam. I have a little request, though. Can you show me around town? I'd really appreciate the company. Oh, by the way, now that I'm finally here, anything you want to ask me? My studies are going really well, actually. I'm working like crazy to keep my grades up, though. Hey, are you growing any crops? I almost forgot that you're doing desert planting, right? It's so interesting. It uses completely unorthodox techniques. That's kind of what I'm studying at the moment. Unconventional farming methods. Professor Law, my master, is a lead researcher on these methods. Like, how can you increase yield and growth under the same conditions? Or even bringing crops back to life? But, uh, his methods are still under development, so I'm bound to secrecy. Which reminds me, where is the moisture farm in Sandrock? I've heard a great many things about it, so I'm curious. If you're free tomorrow, could you go with me to take a look? Please, pretty please, with an apple cherry on top. They're doing really well. You don't have to worry. When I'm around, they talk about you and Sandrock all the time. They kept wondering if you're making any new friends or getting enough sleep or eating enough. I think they really miss you. Speaking of, your ma wrote a letter. You haven't gotten it yet? Wow, I really got here that fast. Oh, uh, so I have one more question to ask. <laughs> I finally get to gossip with you. Are you in love? Anyone you met in Sandrock that you like? Or maybe someone likes you? Huh? Hey, don't tease me like that. <laughs> Is it hot in here? Oh, we got so caught up in talking, I completely forgot to give you your presents. Besides what your parents brought you, I brought you a couple as well. All right, I think we've talked enough already. Let's eat up. I think I'm gonna hit the hay a little early tonight. All right, you go do your builder stuff. I'm gonna get some rest.
Static electricity having that effect. I have experience. I can't tell you how often I get shocked working with Yakima firm. Hmm. Static electricity is common in Sandrock's climate. It is possible, but you're right, it's unlikely. Right. Now, are you going to finally buy some clean clothes? Nice work. The hardest part is behind us. First, some music to set the mood. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the show. Yep, you've heard the stories. But did you ever think you'd really be living it? Watching paint dry. I make my strokes extra globby, so it's easier to see it drip. I make my strokes extra globby, so it's easier to see it drip.
If you look really close, you can see the thicker parts of the paint slowly drip down and even out. Looks like the paint is dry. Well, you know what they say, nothing good can last forever. Did you enjoy yourself? My favorite part was when the paint dried. Well, I'm beat. That was more than enough excitement for one day. I'll catch you later.
young lady like you doing at my commerce guild. Ho ho! I've never seen you around. Did you come here to see good old Yan? Are you Mr. Yan, the builder's boss? It's actually President Yan. <laughs> but yes, you're not wrong. So, you're the builder's friend? Good, good. Are you by chance interested in becoming a builder here? It's fun, it's enriching, and you could get to work with a friend. I might even be able to move some numbers around and squeeze out a budget for an extra workshop. So, what do you say? Why don't you and I go inside for a little powwow? Hey, look who I found. It's President Yan. He even suggested I try out as a builder. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to show off my commerce guild, especially to such a beautiful young lady. <laughs> Thank you very much. Builder, why are you shouting? We at the Commerce Guild are the epitome of etiquette. What am I gonna do, scam her? <laughs> Don't be absurd. 
When you and Mia Ann arrived in Sandrock, didn't I welcome you like a warm summer breeze? If President Yan is being this friendly, who am I to refuse? A devil! A devil, I say! What's wrong? President Yan, why are you crying? I thought we had such an enlightening conversation. Don't! Don't let me see this girl again! <laughs> Builder, you... you... just keep her away from me! Well, that was certainly a fun conversation. For me. <laughs> Were you worried about me just now? It's fine. I can handle myself. Now, I'm gonna go explore a little more. See you later! Aha! Meet the new box! Same as the old box, or just as sturdy at least. Well done! I'll bet this thing would last a thousand years, you overachiever you! I've got my stuff! Are you ready to go bury the box? Just give me your personal item and I'll put it in! Future will write about this stuff in their history books. You ready to go? Let me know and we'll head out. just Mason and his diligence-averse style of building, I'm not sure we'd have been able to be back on track in such a timely manner. Who knows what kinds of terrible things might have happened if we had nowhere to store our water. Oh well, no sense in imagining up scenarios to scare myself. I do plenty of that in my own free time. Hmm. Inside. Mine included a few builder materials following in Hicks' tradition. I also included some historical records, as well as some of the best literature we New World people have produced, including a copy of my favorite episode of Doyle Arthur. For my personal item, well, I thought it'd be good to take a picture of us together. I mean, because, well, it didn't seem fair not knowing what Hicks looked like. They should know what the two builders of Sandrock looked like. Otherwise, our story doesn't mean as much. Don't you think? Here, we can use my camera. should write a letter too, huh? That was the most interesting part of Hicks's box. What should we write about? Hmm. What's more moving than a good romance story? In the last one I read, the couple couldn't be together in the end. It was so sad, I almost cried. Let's wish for the people of the future to have learned from our mistakes. Spread the love. Okay, everything's ready. Let's give our time capsule a proper send off. Well, 
that's that. Hmm. I can only imagine one day there'll be other people opening up our time capsule, reading our letter, and being transported back to our time. How totally cool. I guess this is my way of telling to the world that I was here, that I existed, and I'm doing my best. Whew. Also, I put a latch on our box to make it way easier to open. Thanks again. It's so nice to have someone who shares my interests here in town. I'll let you know if I dig up anything else cool. Thank you for watching. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe for more. Or catch me live on my Twitch.